welcome to another video of this series on IBM Watson Analytics. In my last video, we discussed on refinement, the refined process. Now that we have created profit and loss and this geographic hierarchy, I'm going to do and explore on the data set. So this refinement, BDCS sales data refinement, has been created. Now, so explore. Data exploration by asking questions in IBM Watson Analytics is what explore does. It helps find patterns and relationships in the loaded data set. The IBM Watson allows natural language-based questions on the data. A highly cognitive and intelligent engine performs the analysis. You can explore the data by asking questions, English natural-based questions, and then visualize and slice and dice the data. Please remember that you can create multiple visualizations, but each visualization is displayed in its own separate page. And at the end of this video, we are going to talk about data tray, which shows all the rows and columns which are available for analysis. So let's explore. So to explore, click on the explore icon and select the sales data refinement which we created in our previous videos. As you can see that there are few starting points as English, English questions which are provided. What are the values of sales amount and discount by state? What are the trends of sales quantity over year? And so on. For now, I'm going to create or ask my own question. So the question is, what is the trend of sales amount by year? Can see that it re modified my question as what is the trend of sales amount over a year, which is exactly what I'm looking at, or how do the values of sales amount compare by year? Both sounds very close to the question I have. So let's see what's the trend of sales amount over a year. It tells me that in 2012, my sales were $120,000, while in 2013, it went up to $206,000. And then in 2014, it went up to 228, and in 15, it was $288,000. But in 2016, and 16 is running, it's not over yet, my sales have been up to $35,000. Good. On the top here, there are some insights on sales amount as compared to different dimensions. You can see US and Canada comparison, country by sales amount. Sales amount by customer name is the lowest 121k is the lowest sales amount for customer segment small business. Top day is the highest sales amount for ship date, and so on and so forth. There are a few things which automatically does for you. 
Next, I want to enhance this visualization and I need to include country as part of my analysis. So I'm going to click on the columns here and add as a color, I select country. I want both countries and you can see that the graph has changed and it shows in blue color the US, sorry Canada and in the green color it shows US. The sales of US have increased over the period of time while sales of Canada is less or, or is, is, is downtrend as compared to US. Look, I want to see even though my sales are going up and down over years as compared to country, how is my profit related? So this is my second question. I got a question after I looked up this visualization. All right, so I'm going to create a new visualization. Just click on new button here. And it's, it's gonna give me the same screen as I started with. So I'm going to write my second question. How does the value of, or I'm gonna add one more dimension here. So let's see, how do the values of profit loss compare by customer segment and country? Which is very close to what this is, a country and customer segment. I'll take that and I'm going to click on this. You can see that a new visualization has been created. This shows Canada and US with different customer segment, the profit. So I want to first see the sales amount because I added customer segment too. I'm going to click on this. And say show me sales amount this graph is now sales amount and then I'm gonna see back the profit and or loss here you go I select profit and loss this is not the visualization I wanted I wanted more of a pie chart I can change it on the bottom there is visualization types click on it and select a pie chart so this is profit and loss by country and I can add more columns and I can say show it to me by customer segments too Now, I can change it back to where I started with. So, the first analysis, I can use this navigation tabs. This was my first analysis, and this is my second analysis. I can create more analysis, or I can add to an existing analysis by here. So let's see. I want what's the trend of profit and loss over here. So this is my trend of profit and loss over here by country. I can change this country to say shipment method. You can see how easy you can you can do your exploration in in the IBM Watson analytics. Keep watching this video series. Thank you.